Lions, Broncos, huge game. But the Lions get huge news right before it. Let's take a look at what's going on. So for this game, the Lions are likely to have all of their top offensive linemen playing together. This is huge. So Taylor Decker was questionable. He's good to go. Jonah Jackson's been in and out. Frank Ragna, you never know, with the toe. Graham Glasgow, love you, man. Him and Panay have played almost every game. I think they have. So it says Detroit is the best offensively when they're establishing the run and getting their play action pass game working. We all know this. And, and lately we've gotten too cute. We're turning the ball over. We're behind. We're trying to come back. We're forcing it to this player that, you know, it's just all out of sync. Well, here's why it's so nice because Denver, they've gotten much better over their last seven weeks after a rough one and five start, but they still give up a lot of yards on the ground. They are the worst rushing defense, giving up 144 yards per game. We're averaging 137 yards per game, and that puts us number three um, in rushing and number five in our average. So that's the game, right? It, and, and it always impresses me or amazes me how football always comes back to running the running the ball. What team can run the ball, control the clock, play action? You're kind of you're leaning forward versus you're passing. Things are getting a little dicey because that's not Jared Goff's strength. We've seen that now as we try to get cute and do things and drop back. And it was the running games kind of, you know, we're we got to kind of get out of the running game. And that leads us to then those fourth and sixes where it's like we're down by two scores, but it's fourth and six and we're at midfield. And it's like, I think we should go for it. Then we don't get it. And now it's just it's like this is not we're not controlling the game we're not it's not on our terms it's just i don't know that's not that's not good next thing that i love is uh right here i mean let's go for the lions are coming home for the first time since thanksgiving I remember had thanksgiving and then uh, i think we've been on the road for the last two weeks or whatever we haven't been home for a while and the last time we were home it was against the packers and a weird game that just never went our way from the jump, turning the ball over. So it's like, let's get Jared Goff back home. That is where I feel most comfortable with him indoors. Take those gloves off. Gee whiz. So Goff's thrown touchdown passes in 19 straight games at Ford Field. That's awesome. His 103 passer rating in home games since 2011 is fifth best in the NFL, only behind Dak, Josh Allen, and and Patrick Mahomes love that get him home get the run game going play action St. Brown Laporta take a shot with Jameson like it doesn't seem that difficult I get it the other team gets paid too they've got their plans to stop all of that obviously but doesn't that seem like the formula let me know your thoughts in the comments like run the ball all day here force feed it do not fumble guys and just i don't even care if we score i just want to get a couple first downs running the ball and then punt it and play you play defense right which is stop with the turnover stop with with just being down two scores and having to go for it on fourth down because we're down two touchdowns we could kick a field goal but like really what what does that do for us but it's fourth and eight. Oh my gosh i mean that is just the worst place to be Another thing that I loved here is some takeaways from Aaron Glenn, Ben Johnson, and, and, and Phipp. So here's the one that I think just is said perfectly. Kendall Vildor is going to start at corner. Now, we just picked this dude up a couple weeks ago, but he is a smart player and a calming presence at the position versus Jerry Jacobs. Completely agree. Jerry Jacobs is like a bull in a china shop love the guy physical he's there but he's not a refined corner by any means in fact he's the opposite he's uh he's he's either holding grabbing onto you or guys are running wide open he can't do things without getting his hands on you and so kindle vildor is more of that polished corner and polished might be too strong of a word for a guy that was just signed off the street but at least he's he might not have the physical traits that Jerry has, but he's more technique, traditional corner that he may give up passes, but they're not going to be just, you know, he's not going to give up. You know, he's going to be right there, make the tackle, 10-yard gain, shoot, 
good good play everybody versus jerry jacobs is just like 50 yard 50 yard touchdown blew the coverage he couldn't he just ran right by him or he he had one misstep and that's all it takes against them so i love i love seeing that as well and then another couple ones here be really paying attention for special teams on both sides of the ball dave phipps says it and you know remember sean payton's aggressive on special teams that's where dan campbell gets it so it's, this game's going to be like don't turn your tv off or look away from the tv at any, any point because some crazy things can happen russell wilson oh my gosh i can't stand russell wilson i don't know who else can stand him can't stand him i think he's weird i think he's just a weird dude he's too nice he's too not nice he's too corny that's that would be the word um and then specialty okay brian branch now this was a kind of a weird quote a couple days ago um glenn was talking about dialing back brian branch and it, it didn't sound completely right but i think it's i think it's good brian branch is a nickel corner he's great at it we were trying him at corner remember we had him at corner to kind of cover up for jerry jacobs we had him at safety a little bit now we've got iffy melon fan in there we've kind of settled down that secondary because tracy walker see ya iffy you're in at safety boom safety is locked up and good now corner we got vildor in that puts you branch back at nickel all set don't have to worry about all the things that we're doing ben johnson still thinks jared goss playing at a high level i don't think he is but i still think he's capable of right like if he goes out and plays great against the broncos it won't be a surprise it's just it's more of a surprise and just stunner when he plays horrible and he can't throw a spiral and he can't throw it past 15 yards is like that's but no i have no surprises if he comes out plays great and then um and then glenn said he likes the way his team's playing i i totally agree so the 51 points allowed by detroit outside the red zone are the sixth best in the nfl meaning those are 20 plus touchdowns big play chunk plays that you know aren't, don't come up close and i would agree with that the lions don't give up you know too many big plays for touchdowns i guess they give up big plays but we got to just keep in perspective all teams are giving things up but the lions defensively i want i i am excited to see what happens defensively if the new guys that are coming in on some of these changes defensively i love those i think those really make sense and if the offense doesn't turn the ball over both literally turn the ball over turnover on downs three and outs like those are the things the offense has just been doing brutally that our defense is not that good. I mean, come on. Our, we know that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments on this one. Love the matchup. Love Saturday night football. December. Meaningful games. Doesn't get anybody any better than this. Um, let me know your thoughts and we'll see all of you on the next one.